Hi everyone, today I'm going to read If You Give a Cat a Cupcake, and this is written by Laura Numeroff and illustrated by Felicia Bond. So do you know what the writer is called? An author, yeah. And that is the person that writes the story. And it says it's illustrated. Do you know what the illustrator does? They draw the pictures. So this is a great book because it has an author and an illustrator. So here we go. If you give a cat a cupcake. He'll ask for some sprinkles to go with it. When you give him the sprinkles, he might spill some on the floor. Cleaning up will make him hot, so you'll give him a bathing suit and take him to the beach. He'll want to go in the water and build a sandcastle too. Then he'll look for seashells. See the seashells down here? He'll find a few other things as well. He'll put them in his pail and try to pick it up, but it'll be too heavy. He'll decide he needs to work out at the gym. Oh my, look at all, all of those things he tried to fit in his bucket. First, He'll warm up on the treadmill. Then he'll lift a weight or two. He might even try a karate class. After the gym, he'll want to go to the park. When you get there, he'll see the rocks. He'll climb as high as he can go. At the top, he'll see the lake. He'll want you to take him rowing. He'll be the captain and you'll have to row. Then he'll notice the merry-go-round and want to go for a ride. He'll want you to go for a ride too. You'll choose the horse with the purple mane and he'll get on the whale. The whale will remind him of the science museum. He'll ask you to take him there. First, he'll find the dinosaurs. Then, He'll visit the, what do you think he's going to visit next? <gasps> Hall of Apes. When the museum closes, you'll be the last to leave. On the way home, you'll pass by the beach You'll help him gather all of his things. Then he'll want to race you. Who do you think's going to win? When you get home, he'll empty the sand from his shoes. He might spill some on the floor. Seeing the sand on the floor will remind him of the sprinkles. He'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if you give him some sprinkles, he'll want a cupcake to go with them.
The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed this story. And I know I did. I think my favorite part of the story was when he went to the museum and they saw or visited the Hall of Apes. I think this is my favorite part because they're all just dangling from tree to tree, having fun, being silly. Look at this one right here. She's holding two little babies right there. Isn't that sweet? And I think he's trying to do the same, but I don't know. I see a worried look right there. So I hope you get to share your favorite part of this story too. And thank you for stopping by. I'll see you soon.